Hi, Long Beach Unified community. It's great to be with you for our daily update on this Thursday afternoon. Um, I just want to start by doing some thank yous. Thank you for caring for each other so well out in the community. Thank you for all the thought that you're putting into how you're interacting with students. And thank you for accepting yesterday's call to use hashtag proud to be LBUSD out on social media. It's been really neat to be reminded of the many, many good things that go on out in our community, in classrooms and other places in the community. And now to see that hashtag being used to share what's happening in your homes as teachers and as, as families. Um, we had a Board of Education last night, and I just want to acknowledge we are so lucky in Long Beach Unified to have an amazing Board of Education who is here for you, wants to encourage you, and is really behind and leading all of the work that's going on right now to make sure that, that all of you have what you need and that our students are, are well taken care of. I also just want to acknowledge that while all is kind of quiet and our schools being closed, we have hundreds of classified staff members that are out in the field working right now, including the team that's filming this message. We have staff in cafeterias and running our plants. We have maintenance projects. We have other projects going on. And so while it feels quiet, we are safely continuing much of the work that has to go on outside of classrooms. So I want to thank them and also acknowledge that there are dozens of certificated staff as well. So I want to use this, just a quick story this afternoon to just share with you um, from a quote that many of you might have heard before, um, but I was reminded of through some of the communication that I've had with you all directly. And that's a Mr. Rogers quote that goes something like this. When I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people helping. Um, I was reminded of that. I have a college student who no longer can stay in his dorm and is transitioning to online learning. And when he got home exhausted from moving home, I loved hearing him tell about his helping other people to get their, themselves packed up, to get ready to go home, and what that looked like. It was a great example of how our youth rise up to be helpers to one another, not just adults. Um, but I want to just encourage you, many of you are in a different environment now than you are usually, um, but look for opportunities to be helpers and remind your children, those of you who are guiding children right now or teaching children, remind them to look for the helpers because we know that those helpers are always there. So I'll just close today. I want to alert you both whether you're a parent watching this or a teacher watching this, we're about to distribute several aspects of communication as we move this week from a pause in continuity of learning out into home learning opportunities. So whatever your group is, be on the lookout via email and our district communication channels because so much good work has been done this week to provide opportunities for home learning that will begin next week and will take us through April 9th. Thanks so much. We appreciate your flexibility and all of your encouragement to one another and to us. Together, we're going to get through this, and as hard as it is, we know that there will be better days ahead. Thank you.